Good morning. This morning we are in a town, I think it's called Medijish, Medijish, and we stay in a little car park uh, in front of this church and sanatorium. So many years ago this was a sanatorium, the church is extended to it, so it was a church place. Actually, lovely grounds with the church, and also next year they will celebrate their 350th anniversary. And there's the high street, very quiet. Over there in the corner with the Iola sign is a shop. What a great little quiet park up that was. It wasn't long before we were back on the road and we headed straight to our park up at the football stadium in Warsaw. We parked up, looked out the van's window and could not believe what we were seeing. It turned out there was an away day going on for some office workers and they had some old cars which they were racing in the car park. It was really hilarious to watch. They got very excited, but I'm glad they all had a good time. It was good for us to laugh as well. So I get to sit in the front and these three squashed in the back. <laughs> Are you there, Mr. D? I am. I can just see you. We're just crossing over the river now, which is the Viscular River again. So we're now in Warsaw Old Town and the first thing we've come across is a Polish Scouting and Guiding Association, Warsaw District. Now as a former girl guide, or a Queen's girl guide, I thought I'd be interested. And then I look at the monument and she's got a gun. What is all that about? So back to the naked women again. And this one's holding a young baby in her hand. So this is the town walls. So we're just on the edge of the um, old town and this is the town walls. The walls around here continues around there. So for those of you that don't know, Warsaw was bombed decimated during the Second World War and most of Warsaw was flattened and after the war ended in 1945 they rebuilt the city um, back to its former glory and as you can see that was all part of the Warsaw uprising which broke out in 1944 when they were occupied by the Germans. All across this city, you can see where the um, bombing took place and they've deliberately left the line so, so you can aware of it. So this building was demolished right down to this level. A little Polish shop there. <coughs> Now, I don't know about you guys, but looking around at these buildings, I think they made a pretty good job of reconstructing this town. So, I have found the tourist information, got my city map. Um, it's not so clear as I wanted to run, but we'll see what we can do. And in front of me is the Royal Palace, this nice big 
Pink building. In the 16th century, the Royal Palace um, host, was a host to lots of royal monarchs. And um, these days, it's a museum holding lots of art, literature. Still quite a prominent feature in the old market square where I am standing now. So in 2021, it was the 50th anniversary of the commencement of work on the reconstruction of the Royal Castle in Warsaw, which like I say, was completely destroyed by the German army during the Second World War. You can just see, this is Warsaw, completely decimated. And this is what was left of the castle when it was bombed. And of course now, as you see, it's back to its former glory. Behind the Royal Palace, in the distance is the football stadium and that is where our motorhomes are parked. If I swing round, there's the city halls again. So this is a memorial to the architect that rebuilt Warsaw after the war, Jan Zakwok Torek and this, he was 83 when he died by the looks of things. It's Mr. D, are you all right, Mr. D? Oh, thank you, yeah. Where are you off to? Oh, you're going to the castle. Going to the castle, yeah. Warsaw, so, Warsaw Castle. We're just going into the courtyard of the castle to have a look around. They've done a pretty good job of building this place back up again. They did a great job reconstructing this. Where? You can see the clock. And just a different view of the Royal Palace, which is a very prominent part of this square in Warsaw. And that over there is St Martin's Church. And that the column in front of us is King Sigmund's column. <laughs> and right on cue, we have stumbled across a Polish wedding. How cute is that? Bless them. May they live long and happy in their married life. So this is a wishing veil situated just in front of the cathedral and legend has it if you walk around three times your wish will come true so mr d off you go mr d is now walking around the wishing bell and he's got to go around three times for his wishes to come true hopefully it's a good wish that I'm in the wish as well. Oh, no. The viewpoint over the Vishavisa Vira, but the name translates as Shit Hill, Dunhill, if I want to be more polite. Apparently, what I'm standing on was the dumping ground for all the old town's waste, and it grew over time, and the shape can be best seen from the bottom down there, but I'm not going down there. At one stage, it was renowned for its healing properties. People with obscene obscene amounts of money would come here sorry it's tickling me this would be buried up to their necks in rubbish in a supposed cure for syphilis which didn't work as it turned out i've just read that out of the town guy but how interesting that we're both standing how do you feel mr d you're standing on shit hill yeah it's got good there eh? shit hill shit hill yeah right let's go on let's go on Just been in the souvenir shop and just noticed this restaurant. How pretty is that? And where's getting ready for Halloween at the moment? Sometimes it was just nice to stand still and look at the busy market and look at magnificent buildings all around. And then you come across the unexpected. <laughs> Magic. 
I don't think so, Mr. D. A little bit high in for me. It's a little bit high for you to get on, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Definitely. Just come across this. Well, Keith actually found it in a shop window. Not sure if they've got vampires here in um, Allsaw, but it's vampire killing kit. It's got a candle, the cross, the bottles, everything. What's going on? Lost Mr. D. I think he's still with the vampire killing kit. I hope he's not considering purchasing one. I'm just looking at the deck on the front of these buildings that they've just literally painted and inscribed them just exactly how they were before the place was destroyed. It's pretty amazing. And, uh, and here comes Mr. T. Here he comes. Did you go and buy one then? <laughs> That's really good. I enjoyed it. <laughs> You enjoyed that, did, did you? Yes. That tickled your fancy. That, that did tickle me, yes it did. There you go. We're still on the hunt for something to eat, yeah, so are. I'm getting a bit peckish now, so, so let's go. Let's go. Yeah. So this is Warsaw Barbican, which is the entry to the old town and it forms the defence system to the old town of Warsaw. It has been destroyed over the years in the Polish uprising and it was rebuilt in 1952. And now we're out into the new town. So the old town became too populated so they decided to build another old town outside the old town so this what we're standing now is the new old town a bit confusing i know so polish coffee shop and cafe here we go for lunch i think lunch anna would be happy at this Unfortunately, there was no room there, so we continued looking for somewhere to have our lunch and walked back up towards the market square, where we came across this little man feeding all the birds. There were hundreds of them. And just like Copenhagen, this is the famous mermaid statue called Serena in Warsaw. Nice little church there, quite tall called the Sanctuary of Our Lady of Graces. Yellow pasty, could this be our lunch break? Let's see. I've been corrected, apparently it's a dumpling. No good, we're still on the hunt. Now we have a big dancing bear. We finally settled on Cinema Paradiso, which is a Tim and we've ordered a pizza and chips for us to share. We're starving. After finishing a lovely lunch, we headed back towards the vans, passing some more interesting places on the way. St Joseph's Church and the viewing tower okay this is number 2022 canonia and it's the smallest house built and it was built at just two meters to evade paying taxes so yeah two meters wide interesting fact for you guys this is called a uh, Duna, which is translated as the Blue Archway and is one of the most picturesque sites in the city. We actually didn't take any photos that time um, because we didn't feel the need to, but we did take lots of photos for you to enjoy. 
So that concludes Warsaw. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Now, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe and feel free to leave a comment. It does help grow our channel. So we passed a nice little baker shop and here comes Mr. D and we have oh nice little Halloween spider donuts. I hope there's two of those, one for me as well. Yes, <laughs> there is. <laughs> there is. <laughs> he, he did to hesitate then, didn't you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> have them late with a nice cup of tea.